Hi guys, welcome to Tip Tuesdays, and today I'm using a Moyu Pure Minx that I just got, and I'm doing a, um, basically a tip for how to do Pure Minx finger tricks. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm going to try to do this whole thing in one cut. So basically, the first thing you want to start off by doing is just go ahead and look at it. Look at the cube. I'm going to help you so you don't have to do that's really annoying and not effective at all or efficient so first thing you're going to want to do is you want to try to these are centers right here <clears throat> these are the centers you want to try to put your thumb your two thumbs on the centers on the front okay your pointer fingers on the centers on the opposite of that and then your middle finger on the bottom now that's just you wanna that's just, that's just gonna help you get the best grip possible. So you're gonna just fly right through it. Okay, so the next step you're going to want to do is when doing an algorithm like this right here, is as you go down, you wanna already be you wanna be pushing down with your right hand. So so you're already the move's already just sitting there, just on the tips of your fingertips. Okay, so now I'm going to go and show you an a couple of algorithms here. Okay, so okay, so this case right here, where there's one center on left, one center on right, this is one flip once again. Um, you want to keep your hands on the puzzle as much as possible. You do not want to have to move your whole hand. So. Notice how I'm just sliding my hands right through the algorithm. Same thing. So like with this case right here. Right here. Notice how I just go up. I do not even take my hand off the puzzle. Okay. So let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and just get to a, a certain case right now. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So right here when the center is on the left. You put it over it. You want to have your hand preset, not like this. You do not want to go like this. Because you're moving your hand when you can really be using your right hand that's just sitting here. So you want to start like this. Push your hand down or to be pulling. And just keep your hand. And as you go like this, remember you want to slide your hand down. And finish that. Finish the case. There you go. Okay, so yeah, the main key for doing finger tricks on a pure minx is to not take your hand off the puzzle as much. You do not, the more you take your hand off the puzzle, it's basically just like a cube rotation on a 3x3. Three three. It's really worth about three turns. Um, so when solving tips, that's basically a finger trip as well. You want to try to, so if I was like this, you don't want to go like that and then turn your tip. That's you want to make it one fluid motion. So as you're turning the tip, have your other pointer finger ready to push. It'll be like this. As you're turning the tip, your pointer finger will grab it, finish the rotation. You want to make the tip movements as fluid as possible. Okay, so one last thing to know is you definitely want to have the next move on the tip of your fingertip. So remember, as you're going down, have this hand pushing. So, so um, this really helped me by just pretty much the hand position. Have your two pin pin pinch your fingers on the centers like this, and then your middle finger on the bottom center. You don't want to put them too far up. Or else it'd be more beefy style turning, not too far up, or else it'd be less controllable. Just on the centers and have your fingers really loose and have those algorithms on the tip of your fingertip because pure minks, don't get me wrong, is a fast sport. There's really fast people out there, sub four second averages. So you're gonna have to have those algorithms ready to go. So yeah, here's one more algorithm. Um, sorry, I didn't get it in the cut, so I make a separate recording of it. It's when you have both 
centers on the front, nothing else. So instead of going like this, R prime D take your hand off, you wanna just hold that like this. You wanna just have your hand on there. Look, you don't really need to move your hand and grab over there when all you have to do is just pull. Just give it a nice throw. So it looks like this. Throw. Bring it back up. We already have this hand over here, so finish the algorithm. Here's the case, you know, last layer case as usual. But yeah, remember tips. Keep built into it. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so thanks for watching my Pyramid finger trick, finger trick tips. And if you need any help with these, or if you don't get something, or need help with a certain algorithm, just go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll I'll help you out with it.